It's Derby Day in the DSTV Premiership as Swan is finest. The champions, Mamelodi Sundowns, go to toe to toe with their city rivals, Super Sport United. It's Masandawana against Matatanta Apitori. A very good afternoon to you from Loftus Fairsfeld in Pretoria for this clash between the nation's giants. Pretoria rules over the nation, but who rules Pretoria? We will find out again as these two great rivals go toe to toe again. Well, the both teams come into this game on the back of, uh, should I say, disappointing results, I think, for both sides. A starter for Mamelodi Sundowns, who failed to find the back of the net as they were held to a scoreless draw down in Cape Town in a repeat of the MTN 8 final. Diego Mudisa, it is Sundowns. They may change personnel, but the playing style won't change. Yes, of course, the playing style will still be the same. The emphasis of putting the ball on the ground still be the same but I think with Safranco coming into the lineup I think it brings them that little bit of a different dimension when the ball are put inside the box and it will be the guy that contests for those balls but yet again coming in Miami uh, that will be expected to take on players especially on the wide areas Domingo Hashim that had a great game against Cape Town City who will be also looking to partner Andy Lejal in the midfield to make sure that Mamrini Sundowns find their fluidity as for Super Sport, the big guy Gabuza will be leading up front, but yet again the creative player back into the team, Sipo Mbulo, who will be partnering Mukwena and Don in the midfield. I think that three midfield there with them, it's always dynamic and Mbulo will be looking to, to put on those passes as well, as well for Lunga and Mazimba as well. All set then for the Tony Derby. Referee Victor Shawani gets us underway. It is a visitor, sir. Super Sport United in the all white strip uh, or all white with the uh, blue stocking sundowns, of course, in the colors of uh, Brazilians are attacking the goal from left to right of your picture. It is uh, a, K a team that, uh, well, it's was turning into the Pretoria Soccer League at some point. This Super Sport United had made a great start um, to the campaign, only to falter just before the break there, but still, you are. Dealing with a team here in first place, Mamelodi Sundowns against Super Sport United in a fourth position. And uh, in fourth place, they know that also a maximum haul of points will take them into second place above Stellenbosch United. Well, potentially. Could be a chance here! Oh my word! What a chance there! Still alive here for Super Sport United! Well, what a chance that was! What a start that would have been within the first minute! Well, they tell you that the crossbar is still rattling. Dennis Onyango would have known nothing about it. That would have been the first goal he's conceded this season in the DSTV Premiership. Wow. Teko Modise, you don't get many chances against Sundowns. And I think that's one of those opportunities for Super Sport that early on in the game, they should be bearing it, especially got um, uh, gotten by the man that is on form, Gabuza, inside the box. It's very, very disappointing from Mabri Sanders how they defensive early on in the game like this. Offside up against uh, Tamsang Gabuza should have put uh, them. Uh, He's a man bang on form, as Teko Modisa says. If anybody, if you wanted anybody on the end of this one, nice stuff there from uh, Mbule. And then there, well, he did everything right. I guess a little bit unlucky. Look, he is a little bit unlucky. Done everything right. The technique was perfect. And also the pass from Mukwen as well. You know, Gabuza knew exactly what he wanted to do. And uh, those are the, uh, uh, that's what Mbule brings into the team. Whenever he's around uh, around the box, that gives the license to Mukwena to to rush inside the box and to create those type of chances. So today it's going to be one of those games where Sundowns, if they're not careful, they're going to get punished, especially early on in the, in the, in the half like this. You start to fear the worst when a team misses opportunities against Mamelodi Sundowns. As early as it is in the game, you know Sundowns are not going to give up many chances. There's a press there coming to fall. Shafranco here could be a chance here. And it's gone behind. Now you see they very nearly found themselves punished for not taking the opportunities. And uh, Pavel Shafranco has... Uh, yeah, that's that's a good counter press from Domingo and uh, you know good combination play from Safranco there. You think that he'll probably bring it to his stronger foot and try to have a shot at goal, but those are small chances that Mamelodi Sands might create in terms of that uh, forward pressing that they normally do on games. In it comes. 
Vet very nearly snuck in there. As Shalulile found a way to get a shot in, as he does. And uh, with uh, Ronald Williams was rooted to the spot there, wouldn't have had much to, oh, wouldn't have had any chance against that one. Shalulile, such quick feet. And a change that's been made uh, in that uh, area of the field as uh, Miami gets onto it, works it wide now. So the cross comes in first time. Keenan Phillips has uh, been included in the starting lineup, but it's Keegan Johannes that is partner in the club at centre back this afternoon. It's a good ball in here, and uh, the header from uh, Temba Zwane has uh, hacked away there. And it comes again, and uh, they're not clearing their chart. Their lines here yes, Super Sport United, and a block. Stop such the shot from uh, San Franco. It's another corner. They are just struggling to get out of their own half at the minute at uh, Super Sport United. Uh, and that's the same corner that uh, uh, Lakay played, right there on the penalty spot where a lot of Mamluru Sundance players are. I think positionally, Super Sport needs to fix themselves, especially on the corner on the other side. Let's see what happens this time around. Same similar routine and uh, they talk where it gets an effective header onto that one. It's, it's a return by Maema. Safranco. Now the ball over the top. It's, uh, just too much on that one as uh, Kapuza looked to get into his running. Mbule's ball in. Now, Kapuza! Clear off the line! Still alive! Oh my goodness. Manziba, you know... Another one, Tiko Mutise. The best chances of a game have gone to Super Sport United. Certainly, um, another set piece again, yet Sundowns failed to defend this. You know, uh, good work from Lunga. You know, the early cross. Gabuza made sure that he attacked. Good height for Gabuza. You know, he couldn't get enough power yet. Um, and Lebuza was able to save there. But this is the area that we spoke about. The area strength of Gabuza inside the box. The area strength of, of just Super Sport as a whole. That second shot from Mazi will take two if not show. Sure. Make sure that you try at least hit the target because playing against Mamiri Sundance, like you said earlier, the chances are very, very, very slim. So whenever you get a chance, at least try and hit the target. Force the goalkeeper to make a save. Zwani. Now Xenia passes with the shot. Lulile pulls the trigger. And whoa. That's how close it was. He scores when he likes. And he generally likes. And that wasn't far at all from uh, yet another for this extraordinary, extraordinary player. Look at that. Look at that shot. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. Even though he's falling, but he gets the ball right on the target. Um, Rowan Williams couldn't do anything about it, but that nice combination play from Mamluri Sundowns, that interchanging play, just, just there inside the box there, and Shalile forcing to turn. That's what I said earlier on with that chance. If he forced to turn and take those kind of shots, but two strikers that are on form, both of them hit the post. Yes, Franco here stays on side. A chance here! Oh, friendly fire! A bit of friendly fire there against the Rodman Williams as he has to make a save of his own player. But uh, that's what happens when you're defending facing your own goal. That's a good pass there from Miami Safranco as well. Playing those early balls. Yes, the talker didn't want to take any chances. But Rodman Williams up to the task, making sure that he puts that save out um, for a corner kick. But like you said, Titi, if you turn around and facing your own goal post, defending, it's going to be a problem. The frustration is that, Titi, whenever they do have the ball, they want to go out very quickly. You know, the, the turnovers from Supersport, I think that's the one thing that is disappointing in today's game. The country chances without having the ball. The case done well here. Miami! <laughs> and there it is, the breakthrough. Just like that, it all seems too easy. And it's now Maema that helps himself to a second of the season and gives Mamelodi Sundowns the lead. Well, this is how we have seen this movie over and over again. 
the best opportunities have gone the way of Super Sport United, but now they find themselves behind. This is going to be very difficult for Super Sport United. They've had to do a lot of work without the ball, and they've hardly threatened sundowns. I haven't laid a finger on them, but take up Lisa, talk us through this one. Look, look with, 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 with that interplay, especially from Lila K coming in from the left back side to come and continue this combination with Tembazwani. But Mayem, knowing exactly what he wanted to do, nice, you know, uh, a technique to it. And I think he tried this. Uh, this is the second time he's trying to get this type of a goal and uh, the first time that he does it here against Super Sport, it went off target but now with a clean shot you know he knew exactly what he wanted to do that's what he brings also into the game he spoke about his talent being able to you know one v one situation is good but also he score goals I think that's the difference that he has he doesn't score a whole lot but gosh he scores some beautiful goals yes 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 he does as we are into just a one minute of uh, minimum of one minute added on the sundowns in front sundowns have not been behind at all this season well they haven't conceded so that seems like stating the obvious but this is also the first time that super sport united have been behind um away from home this season look it's going to be very difficult for super sport because there are changes that they need to make especially there in the midfield where sundowns are finding so many gaps with Miami and the tempers running in the midfield so there's there will be a little bit of shift in that titanic tempo will probably need to do but i think what's important as well is when they do have the ball find ways to hurt uh, mamil sundown patience is a virtue that mamil sundowns have in abundance they had to buy their time played with dominated possession and uh, they had to buy their time and that they have to wait for the chance to come well and when they came it came in spectacular fashion this young fella billy the kid shoots again and uh, he has a sundowns in the lead at halftime halftime at loftus versfeld in the tony derby sundowns one super sport united nil well they come this i did say early on when super sport united had that chance for kabuza in the first minute of the game that you can't help but be filled with dread for them when they don't take a chance like that now they find themselves chasing the game they've had to do a lot of work without the ball here they've hardly threatened onyango i don't think i recall dennis onyango making any save but just to confirm that we have had a change sipombule as we were talking uh, of uh, the break at uh, the that you actually called it that he will probably you know unlikely would be the first change and it has come to pass look because he was brought in to to try and help the team to be more creative and whenever he's not on the ball and the coach will feel like he there's no point in, t in, in using him because now i need to look at the guys that will help the team defensive because that's what super sport has been doing lately whenever they don't have the ball they defend more whenever they lose they win the ball you know they don't they don't they don't get to keep the ball they don't get to create chances so that sap was imminent that is going to happen that little shift as well in the midfield where you now you want to play your 4-4-2 four, four, where you make sure that you you know you compact in the, in the midfield that's where Weber comes in because it's also very comfortable on the ball and also this work rate as well I think it's way better than Sipo Mbule in terms of helping the team to come back and defend but speaking of the chances as well I think that's one one thing that Makaitana Timber actually spoke to the, to, to the players himself you know those half chances the chances that you create make sure that you put them in the back of the net because Mamluri Sundowns will give you problems you forever you know force you to defend before sundown scored super sport united had at least three decent chances two of which fell for gabuza we had um, manziba also get onto the ball in the box and just completely made a, a complete mess of that effort nowhere near the target it was so wide it could almost went out for a corner um and uh, now they've paid their price sundowns have remained patient in what they do i always say with sundowns it's death by a thousand cuts they will not stop what they're doing they will stick to they will they always trust the process it's become a bit of a footballing cliche but they trust what they do they know eventually they will break you down yeah i mean it's they believe in that patient builder and they know that uh, you know at some point you know teams will be so impatient and one once it opens up especially through the midfield they'll get that pass but it, it it goes down to that those type of practices where you practice 
patience, you, you slowly, slowly get into the game. You believe that you can still win the game in the 89th minute. I think that's the culture of the club. So, uh, and also history in this fixture certainly is not on the side of Super Sport United. They have a dreadful record when they've gone behind in games as we have a look at this and the chance here for Shalulile! Well, they start the second half as they finished and wouldn't you know it, he wasn't about to miss out. It's a case of shall he score? Shalulile. Goal number nine for the season. 2-0. And it's looking rather bleak for Super Sport United. Unmoved on the bench. They've seen it all before. Peter Shadolile doubles the lead on the stroke of halftime. I mean, we've seen this before again with Sundowns. You know, they come out, they come out guns blazing at the start of the second half. We saw how even against uh, it was a TS Galaxy they were holding them at nil nil at the, the break, but the game was over in, in no time at the start of the second half. And, wow. and, and t t you look at this goal, just from the ten over, they win the ball. You just play it through the midfield the way Shalili gets to punish, but that's a good ball. That's a good ball from Miami being able to pass that ball. But you know the turnover again. Mumquena loses the ball. He pa passes the ball to Don. Don loses the ball, and then they get punished from there. And that's that's something that they should have learned, especially in the first half. That Sundowns will forever counter press, especially in those type of areas. They need to play safe. They need to you know kick the ball forward, regroup, and make sure that you you know you stay compact within the group, and then start from there. And I think that mistake, that silly mistake, can end up in the bank of the goal. Now it's 2-0 to make things a little bit more difficult for them. That's uh, And by the way, that loss against Chiefs was the only time since 2017 that Sundowns have lost a game in which they scored first. Good looking shot there and Onyango recovers well together at the second attempt. Was that from the top or was that uh, Mokwena? It was very, it was Mokwena where we know he's very capable of striking a ball this one. The last man to score against uh, Mamelodi Sundowns. It was him. Yeah. Now he's capable of getting those shots. And uh, we know that he's got a good right foot and he's got so many goals outside the box there. But the question one will ask is, will Supersport now open up, take more, a little bit of risk? Or will they, 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 they look to, you know, sit back a little bit and not to concede more so it's going to be very tricky to see how super sport actually going to come back to that's a game. beautiful header and a, what a save onyango no is the answer he will not be denied he will not be breached another fine save from dennis onyango well the reflexes on the man he does it over and over again Bekele Beke. <laughs> I think we need to start calling Dennis Onyango the reflex guy. Oh, that's a great ball and a chance here! Oh, finally! Finally! It happened! Sundowns finally concede a goal! And if it's that the Momokwena again, the shot that he takes, he strikes a ball so well. And it's not, not for the first time, uh, Onyango struggled to hold on to the ball as it bounced just in front of him. Yeah, and then of course, Campani reacted quickest. Yeah, that's the second ball that was uh, taken to, 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 to him and it bounced there. And then he struggled to deal with it this time around as well. You know, Lunga, you know, reacted very quickly to make sure that he gets that goal that the Mamluli Sundowns haven't conceded this season. But it was a difficult ball to deal with. But with the 30 second young was experience, you're expecting him to probably maybe to push it on the side and not, you know, allowing the ball to come back into play. Kuriso Mudao will run on to this one with uh, acres of space down the right hand side. They are arriving in the box. Shalulile is in there. Domingo joins. Doing on the ball now. Modau, still Modau, Shalulile. Great save from Ronald Williams to deny Peter Shalulile. How big a save will that prove to be? Wow. 
she's great football here. Great football from Odau and the reflexes from Owen Williams. I mean, I mean, look at that at a close range like that. You know, you don't have time, and he was more so moving across to try and and, and guard or probably protect the other post. But the reflex is there from him. Shalili, they're supposed to put that in the back of the net, but they right say from Williams. Free kick for Super Sport United. Yet another attacking platform. Mokwena, this is well within his range, I would think. He will fancy this one. Is he the one with the ball? I don't see anybody else near the ball there. And uh, it is De uh, Devo Mokwena, the most likely person you would give the, the ball to in this situation. Can he produce another bit of magic over the wall? It goes! <laughs> Oh, he's on the guard and done it again. Onyango beaten again. Devo Mukwena produces another piece of a goal. Oh, the kid is a bit special. Oh, my word. What a story we have unfolding here. Tiko Modisa is stunned into silence. He has only done it again. Devo Mukwena. Another one for the collection. And look yeah. at that again. It bounces just in front of Onyango again. That intention again. Oh. They've realized that he struggles with those balls that bounces just in front of him. This was a good strike from Tewu Homukwe. And the power that he has makes it very difficult for Onyango to do anything about it. Look at the bounce there. He's just making a habit of this. Tewu yep. Homukwe, and I always say about him. He's not a great goal scorer, but he is a scorer of great goals. April 2019 was the last time that Super Sports United beat Mamelodi Sundowns. So, two and a half years ago, here's Hashim Domingo. Domingo! Oh! Shoo! So the, net, the ripple of the net there, and I thought he had just produced an absolute worldy. But it was at the back of the net. But just a little warning there for Super Sport United. Well, actually, in the end, it was uh, well wide. Let's take a look at uh, Super Sport United now. Can they be? Are we about to get late drama in this one here? Yeah! Whoa, forces a save out of Oyango. Manziba, who had a much better opportunity in the first half, tries to score with a difficult one, and I think he's done himself an injury in the process. As we into a minimum of three minutes uh, to play, Super Sport United, I think I've made a change. In comes the corner. So, look at how far out of his goal Ronan Williams is. Puts one over the top now. Nice little touch from Jamie Weber, but the chance is here! Oh my goodness! Was that a save or a block? I would say that was a block. That's a block Grant from Kekan. Kekan. Yeah, that against, was a block from him. Against his former teammates here, performing heroics. Whoa! Uh, I think uh, earlier on it was Musali Busa who put his body on the line. I thought that was a match saving uh, block. I think that one from Kekana might have just taken away that uh, title. And guess who is blocking? Problem. Yeah. The goal scorer of note. So you know, your timing needs to be very, it needs to be perfect. And it, the good ball there. Lunga been causing problems here. Look at Mkoe. Look oh, at uh, Kekana, you know, using his left foot there. He needs to be sure. And he dives in on there, so he had to, had to absolutely nail that because that could easily result in a of penalty. Yep. Danger not gone yet. The Super Sport United going for the jugular here. They have smelled blood. Charles! Oh! <laughs> wow, they were off their bench there. Lungu looking for a second in the game. Wow, what a game this has turned out to be. I think it's a game of two halves. Yeah. Where, you know, tactically, I think Katerno is spot on. 
um, in the second half, you know, that start from Bude changed a little bit of how Supersporter approached the game and they became a little bit different and they started causing problems for, for Mamlis and that one goal that they needed turned things around for them. So we are now into the last of a minimum three minutes uh, signaled by Victor Chumwane. Now maybe one last attack for Supersport uh, United. Bradley Krobla staying on his feet but uh, losing the ball to Andy Lechali who's been boss again. Well, well, there it is. It's all over. And what a game it turned out to be. Derby delight it was. Absolutely fabulous. So Nyango looks to the heavens. I think he will feel culpable for the goals that he conceded here tonight. Well, a couple of records then uh, dismantled here by Supersport United. Downs were on an eight-game winning run. That comes to an end. They were unbeaten. Uh, uh, they won all their games at home. But tonight then, uh, finally, their defenses have been breached by Supersport United. It's ended in the 20. Derby, Mamelodi Sundowns 2, Supersport United 2.